Susan, welcome to Montgomery Week Thanks in Review. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. Arts and Humanities Council yeah. and Nonprofit Energy Alliance. Wait, I, <laughs> give us an idea. I mean, I, I'm, I'm having trouble understanding the connection. Well, and I think others might be too. But the bottom line is that in a, in a constrained economy, when you're really trying to figure out how to get to the next, and people are saying, boy, we would really love more government support for the arts. I'd love to see that myself. Um, we have to think creatively. And so as we see some of our grantees and people that we support going through uh, how to run their business in a really responsible way, we've come to think about what economies in, of scale mm -hmm. and scope that we could engage in that would help them and so thus was born the Nonprofit Energy Alliance. So any organization that's that's running a building that has a building or an office they, they've got energy costs. Absolutely we all have energy costs right, right here right now. Right and so right. so this is an effort then so tell us a little bit the genesis and and you know my gosh I, I you know have you become an energy expert or were you already <laughs> an energy expert before you got involved with oh, this? Oh that's so far from the truth. Um, uh, be, as I have said many times before I never used the word kilowatt hour, I, kilowatt hour in a sentence in my whole life. Um, um, how did it start? Um, at a budget season in 2009 mm -hmm. as we went up to the HHS committee. Um, and now the county Coun council. Yeah, now uh -huh. council president Roger Health Berliner, and Human Services Committee. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Absolutely, was a part of the Health and Human Services Committee. And we had someone, one of our grantees, asking for an earmark, a special appropriation because of rising energy costs. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there right for a second. There's a website coming up so our viewers can maybe maybe access this while they're Wonderful. hearing the great story. What's that website? www.nonprofitenergyalliance.org, pretty easy. Sorry to interrupt. Come no problem. <laughs> um, so um, we were then challenged with, listen, we just don't have the funding for a uh, special appropriation. We've just gone through this huge economic mm -hmm. crisis, and you know we're going to be belt tightening here in Montgomery County. Susan, figure it out. Right. So uh, we started, you know, putting our thinking caps on. We do what we do best: think creatively. And uh, we began to think about what was the problem we were trying to solve. Mm -hmm. We were trying to solve an issue that rising energy costs would affect many nonprofits. And as we began to mm -hmm. dig deeper about that problem, we said, why can't we buy it as if we were doing a stock buy? So then we started thinking, okay, okay. economy, scale of, and scope, what would that do? And then as we started thinking about that, we said, okay, what would we want? Well, we'd right. want clean and renewable energy if we were gonna buy it in bulk. Right. Okay. And then we started saying, well, who supplies that? We don't even know anything okay. about that. Mm -hmm. And then in came Montgomery County's Department of Environmental Protection. Great group and they of people. said they said, listen, we can educate you. Uh -huh. So they wrote us a one sheet and um, Actually, there was probably only about four words on that one sheet that any one of us could understand <laughs> because it was all written in well, energy a, speak. By that time, you're a kilowatt expert, so you recognize the kilowatt. <laughs> no, this was my, edu my kilowatt <laughs> education. And so we, we just began. And then I reached out to my colleagues mm -hmm. at Montgomery, um, nonprofit Montgomery. Right. We got together and we began so to uh, vet a, suppliers. Yeah. So you're buying electricity in bulk? We are. And clean that, and renewable energy, wind and that, energy, and that lowers the cost. Absolutely, for everybody. absolutely. And what are some of the uh, some of the, the nonprofits or the energy companies that you you service? Where do they come from? Oh, they came right from the region. So we we talked to Washington Gas and we talked to uh, uh, many other suppliers. But mm -hmm. we ended up um, with a company that's right here, born and raised mm -hmm. right here in, in Rockville, Maryland, mm -hmm. Clean Currents, and mm -hmm. they came right out of an incubator here. Mm -hmm. Fabulous, and it's all about the service at the end of the day. It was you know, really great. Montgomery Housing Partnership was an early participant and it's a great participant, a uh, happy participant in the program. It's been working well and we really think about it. Mm. What does that mean? You know, it's, just, it's lower energy costs, but that translates for us into lower keeping rents down for low-income folks in Montgomery County. So, uh, so how much money has been saved? <laughs> over a half a million dollars right now. We've saved mm -hmm. over over half a million dollars, which is equivalent to taking 3,000 cars off the road. And mm -hmm. that's the figure that really gets me mm -hmm. as I drove here today. Just think, 3,000 aren't here right now. <laughs> and that's really great. It, it's really been an, an amazing an amazing thing. We've got 60 nonprofits. We, we would love to have more. We really would love to double that very so that soon. would strengthen your buying power. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. economies of scale and sure. scope. Well, we're going to be moving to another entrepreneur in the nonprofit uh, uh, sector next, but as this is truly entrepreneurialistic. 
What are the lessons that you've learned through this to pass on to others? We've got about 20 seconds. It's all seconds. about education. That's the bottom line that we've learned. Mm -hmm. Everybody buys energy. It's a commodity. So really, it's been about teaching people mm -hmm. about their options. Luckily, we're deregulated here. We can mm -hmm. buy any energy from anywhere. Just the education piece is what we've learned is the most. And then secondarily, it's all about community organizing. Fantastic. Susan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.